All right, so let's look at this jump physics question on Newton's gravitational law or Newton's gravitational law or Newton's law of gravitation. The question here says the gravitational force between two objects of masses 10 to the power 24 kilogram and 10 to the power 27 kilogram is 6.6 .6 Newton. Calculate the distance between them. You're given A as 1.0 times 10 to the power 19 meters. B is 1.0 times 10 to the power minus 19 meters. C is 1.0 times 10 to the power 20 meters. And D is 1.0 times 10 to the power minus 20 meters. All right, so what's the answer to this question here? Let's take down the solution. So for this question there, solution. Solution, let's see this. Um, first things first, the formula we use for this is from Newton's law of universal gravitation, right? From there, we have that F is equal to G M1 M2 all over R squared. Okay, so this is the formula or the mathematical expression of Newton's law of universal gravitation. What we say G is a constant, okay, it's called the universal gravitational constant whose value is 6.67 times 10 to the power minus 11 newton meter squared per kilogram squared okay now for this one here you're asked to find the distance okay so for this case here um, my tax would be you can simply go ahead to um, substitute values here if you want to or you could choose to make arrow to be subject of the formula whichever one you take it's mathematically correct so for this particular video here, I'll just go straight to putting in the values and let's see what we have, okay? So I'll put in values and we'll see what we have. Now, first things first, I'm given F. So the value of F, the force there, is about 6.6 .6 Newton. I'm taking M1, the first force has been 10 to the power, the first mass has been 10 to the power 24 kilogram. And the second mass, M2, has been 10 to the power 27, of course, in kilogram. All right, let's impute values. For this, we have that the force, which is 6.6, .6, it's equal to, we have GM1M2, G is 6.67 times 10 to the power minus 11, that's G, into M1 and M2. M1 is 10 to the power 24, and then M2, M2 is 10 to the power 27. All right, so we have this, this all over um, R squared. So this one here, all divided by R squared. That becomes all over um, R squared. It's uh, the value of R, it's unknown, okay. So yeah, so that becomes all over R squared. Now, if you look at this, the numerator is way, way too big. And if I expand this, perhaps I might have um, a very large answer. So I'll leave it like that. What I'll do here instead is simple from here, the mathematical idea is that this becomes all over one, right? So I'm having cross multiply this times this, this times one. So if I cross multiply, I have 6.6 .6 times R squared. It's equal to one times 6.67 .6 times 10 to the power minus 11 into 10 to the power 24 into 10 to the power 27. So 10 to the power. 27. So we have this. From this one here, we can see that for me to get the value of R squared, I have to divide this by 6.6. .6. Also come here to this whole um, term here. This divide is also by 6.6. .6. So we have this. All right. So from here, we'll have that this cancels this. I will now have that R squared. So I'll have that R squared would be equal to what I have here becomes 1 times 6.6. .6. That gives you 6.6. .6. That gives you 7 times 10 to the power minus 11 into 10 to the power 24 into 10 to the power 27. This all over the denominator here is 6.6. .6. So I have this. All right. So from here, we'd have that. Arrow, arrow, okay. To get arrow, simply take square root of both sides. So root arrow squared, it's equal to the square root of this. That becomes 
square root of um i have this as six point six seven times ten to the power minus eleven times ten to the power twenty four that's the first mass then ten to the power twenty seven my second mass this all over denominator here is six point six all right from here this cancels this i will have that arrow it's equal to so i'll just point this to the calculator all right so get your calculator and point this correctly all right so get your calculator and point this correctly square root of 6.67 times 10 to the power minus 11 times 10 to the power 24 your first mass times 10 to the power 27 your second mass all divided by 6.6 .6. Right, so if you do that and you take your um do that and you take your square root there, your answer gives you one point um zero zero five times ten to power the power here is twenty. Okay, and since we're looking for a distance arrow, it will be in meters. So we'll have this. Now let's go back to my option. For the options here, um it's surely option C, approximately option C. So from here, you can see that the answer, approximately, the answer is equal to C. So basically, this is how you solve this question. Okay. All right. So I've prepared over 100 classes on physics, chemistry, mathematics, and other science courses. All right. For these 100 classes, I've discussed the major topics as well as soft past questions. To gain access to the courses, simply visit my website www.jonahimani.com forward slash courses. All right. Register an account to the website and then proceed to order for the jam slash and proceed to order for the jam slash wire courses. All right. And you get a lifetime access. All right. So it gives you a lifetime access to all my courses on physics chemistry mathematics and other science subjects and the videos that i would also add much more later okay i'll leave a link to the website in the video description or you can join my channel membership all right so you can join my jam slash wire classes channel membership all right okay i'll leave a link i'll leave a link to to join my channel membership in the video description all right so check the description for link to join my jam slash wire channel membership or to visit my website to get a lifetime access to these courses okay all right then if you enjoyed this video as usual please hit the like button all right so like this video leave a comment all right tell us if you understood the video or if you have any question leave it in the comment section don't forget to you can also subscribe to this channel if it's your first time here or you're yet to subscribe please do well to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever we upload a new content and then finally share this video to your friends so that they can also learn thank you and see you in our next class